Hello, my name is Joan Francis. I work for the Contemporary British Collection. And I'm Phil Hatfield. I'm lead curator for digital mapping collections here at the British Library. It's a great pleasure to receive the Runners Up Award for the British Library Staff Awards this year. We found out this morning, we're still cock a hoop about it, uh, and it's just wonderful to have really been considered as part of the nominations with such a great series of projects and a great series of um, potential candidates that are part of this work. The projects that we've received the Runners Up Award for actually began all the way back in 2012. Um, back in 2012, I worked with our Wikipedian in residence, Andrew Gray, to digitise a collection of Canadian colonial copyright photographs here at the British Library, pass them into the public domain and make them available on Wikimedia Commons. The project really started a lot of our collaborations that have come up with Wikimedia since and it's been great to see the amount of work and the amount of development that's gone into that collaboration subsequently. But when it came to picturing Canada, what we really wanted to do was start thinking about how can we push this project further? How can we make it easier to find some of the fascinating content that's part of the collection? And how can we also start opening up some interesting research questions that come out of this? So what we decided we wanted to do was map the collection. We have great metadata for the photographs. We have some really interesting titles that invariably has place details in it. And so Joan has spent the last 18 months now working to find place names and attribute geo-coordinates to those place names for the photographs so that that can be added into a spreadsheet, uploaded into Google Fusion Tables and transformed into a map like you see here. The map becomes a wonderful finding aid for users who want to find photographs about their location in Canada or a particular location in Canada that they just happen to be interested in. Um, it becomes an interesting way of burrowing into the collection, finding out what's there. It will soon be going live in a sort of final version on Wikimedia Commons and also on the British Library website. So it'll be available for all of you to use, to click on the points that are found around the map and then be transported out to the original image on Wikimedia Commons. One interesting thing that also comes out of the project is that the map opens up some really interesting research questions, some really interesting what can we do next about it. And basically what we've started to see is the map produces some of the economic logic for the collection. It shows us that urban areas around Canada and also the railroads were some of the main drivers behind photographic production in Canada at this time. And that's really fascinating. So we're looking forward to the final version of the project going live. We're looking forward to all of you working with it. And thank you once again for the Runners Up Award and for the nomination.